To say hospitals were a way of life for Bruce Climey, well, that's quite an understatement. When Bruce was very young, he learned he was a diabetic. Insulin injections became a necessary part of life. That was 1939. Over time, he was diagnosed with coronary heart disease and then told his kidneys were failing. Dialysis three times a week also became a necessary part of life. And then there were the complications and infections, more than Bruce ever cared to count. But despite these ailments, Bruce didn't wallow in self-pity. Whenever he was asked how he was doing, his response was always the same. I'm doing fine. Just fine. Even if it wasn't true. In 1954, he married his college sweetheart. Mary was a kindergarten teacher. Bruce worked for the town's parks department. They raised four children, and as much as Bruce's conditions would allow, they were active in the school where Mary taught. They even created a puppet program for kids with learning disabilities. But as the years went by, Bruce and Mary struggled with an inevitable and pending reality that the trips to the hospital would increase until one day Bruce just wouldn't be able to come home. That's how they thought their story would end. And slowly, over time, this ending began to come true. There were more and more moments of crisis. Bruce would be rushed to the hospital, the doctors telling Mary the situation was serious. The end was near. Mary and Bruce realized they couldn't change the ending of their story. Not by themselves, anyway. So they reached out and grasped an outstretched hand, the hand of an author of new endings. Soon, a small, steadfast group of people had set to work rewriting the end of their story. The new ending didn't include hospitals or doctors or situations defined as grave. No, for Bruce, this new ending simply included Mary his children and their spouses, and his 13 grandchildren and four great-grandchildren. And so it was that Bruce and Mary spent their 58th year of marriage together without ever visiting a hospital. And as the last chapter closed on Bruce Climey's life, he was right where he wanted to be, at home, surrounded by family. And if you really listened you could still hear him say, I'm doing fine, just fine. His story had been rewritten. <laughs>